Hi folks, we're going to take a look now at uh, one of the most common analytic geometry problems in 2D, which is finding the distance between a point and a line. Now when we talk about the distance between a point and a line, we assume that it's the shortest distance, and uh, that's what's specified here in the problem. So find the shortest distance from the point at negative 4, 7 to the line 2x minus 3y plus 6 equals 0. Now you would have actually solved problems like this back in grade 10, but it would have been quite a long and arduous process. So I'm going to start with a picture here. So say this is my line 2x minus 3y plus 6 equals 0. Okay, and say I have my point here, negative 4, 7. Now since we want the shortest distance from the point to the line, that will be the distance that is perpendicular to the line. Now the way you would have done this back in grade 10 is you would have found the slope of this line, found its negative reciprocal, use that uh, slope and this point to find the line, the equation of the line that crosses it. Once you do that, you find the point of intersection between those two lines by solving a system of equations. And then once you have the point of intersection, you can f use the distance formula to calculate the distance between those two points, and that'll give you your answer. So quite a long process. We're going to see if we can apply some of our uh, new techniques to solve this much more quickly. Okay, so the way in which we're going to do this is, well, we don't know that point of intersection, okay? And we're going to see how we can solve this problem without ever finding out what that point of intersection is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find any point on this line, okay? So <clears throat> I look here, the numbers are all very nice, so I'm going to choose x equals 0, okay? And then find the y value, so that's going to give me negative 3y uh, equals, bring the 6 to the other side, negative 6, and so y is going to be equal to 2. So I know the point uh, 0, 2 is on this line. And what I'm going to do is create a vector from this point to the point negative 4, 7, which I'm trying to find the distance to. I'll call that u. Okay. Now, I want you to stop and take a look at this for a second and see if you see where I'm going to be going here. So I'm looking for this distance from the point to the line, okay, and I'm going to use this vector u, okay. Hopefully you had the idea that we're going to actually use a projection because we have something that is in the same direction as this distance here, or at least parallel to that distance, and that's our uh, normal vector, because we know that a normal vector to this line is just given by the a and b values, so that's 2, negative 3. Okay, so if we take our normal vector, okay, place it here, we know that it's perpendicular, and if I take the projection of u onto n, well, what do I get? This distance here is the same as the distance between the point on the line. Now we have to be careful, and especially if you look at this vector here, if I actually think of this as being the Cartesian plane, 2, negative 3 will most likely have been going in the other direction. Okay, The projection of u onto that vector would still be this same vector here. Okay, The projection vector would still be the same. Okay, but the scalar projection would be negative. So what I want to do is not just take the scalar projection of u onto n, but I'm going to take the absolute value. So in case that ends up being a negative number, since I'm looking for a distance, I just want the positive version of that. Okay, so the way in which we're going to find that distance is we're just taking the, sorry, the scalar projection, okay, of the vector u here, on to the vector n, the normal, okay, and I want to take the absolute value of that. Okay, so let's start by finding the vector u. So the vector u is just from this point to that point, so we'll go uh, negative 4 minus 0 is negative 4, and then 7 minus 2 is equal to uh, 5. Okay, so this is our vector u. Uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, here just to indicate what our vector n is. Again, it's 2, negative 3. 
Okay, and now we can use the formula for our scalar projection. So we know that it's u dot n, okay, but we're taking the absolute value of that. So u is uh, negative 4, 5 dot n, which is 2, negative 3, okay, and all over the magnitude of the vector that we're projecting on 2. So in this case here, it's the square root of 2 squared, 4, plus the square root of, uh, plus the uh, square of negative 3, so 9, and let's go ahead and do this here. So we have negative 4 times 2, so negative 8, plus 5 times negative 3, so minus 15, and then here is square root of 13, and we're left with negative 8 minus 15. Okay, so that'll give us negative 23, but since we're taking the absolute value, that'll just be positive 23 over root 13. Okay, so we're seeing here why we need to take the absolute value, because we know that the scalar projection can sometimes be negative. So if n is pointing, must have been pointing in that direction, the scalar projection is negative. So that's why we need to have the absolute value here. Okay, so there we go. We can use the scalar projection to determine the distance between a point and a line. Now, this is significantly uh, less work than what you would have done in grade 10, but I'm pretty sure we can actually go a little further. We can actually make this even simpler. Okay, which is what we're going to look at now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, what we just saw as our motivation to come up with a formula, okay, for any distance between a point and a line. So what I have here is a very similar scenario. So I've got my line. Now here I'm not working with a specific line, so everything's going to be variable. So I have AX plus BY plus C equals zero. That's the equation of the line. I know that a normal to this line will be just be capital A comma capital B. There's my normal. Okay. I'm going to need to use a point on the line. So as we've done before, I'm going to use X not Y not to represent some specific point on the line. And the point I'm finding the distance to, I'll label as X1, Y1. Okay. So our goal now is to see if we can come up with you know, a formula, perhaps something that'll even work quicker than what we saw earlier, which was already an improvement on what you would have done in the past. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly what I did before. I'm going to join, okay, x not y not and x1, y1 with a vector, which I'll call u. Okay, and I'll actually write out right away what u is. So second minus first, so it's x1 minus x naught. And then the y component of that vector is y1 minus y naught. Okay, so what we do is take this normal vector up here, okay, and remember that we're taking the projection of u onto that normal vector. And since we only want the distance, this distance here being equivalent to that distance there, all I need is the scalar projection. And just keep in mind that I'm going to take the absolute value of the scalar projection. Since I'm looking for distance, the scalar projection could possibly be negative. That's how I'm going to define my distance. So my distance is going to be the absolute value of the scalar projection okay, of this vector u, which joins a point on the line and the point I'm finding the distance to onto the normal vector of that line. Okay. So now, as we did before, I'm going to follow the exact same procedures as before, but hopefully come up to something uh, that works out nicely. Okay, so it's the absolute value of uh, n dot u, okay, divided by the magnitude of n. So here we have n is a b. Uh, u is uh, x, x1 minus x0 y1 minus y0, okay, and again, this will be magnitude of n is just the square root of a squared plus b squared, okay, so let's take the dot product here, so I have a times x1 minus x0, so that gives me a x1 minus a x0, and then plus b times the y component there, so that's b y1 minus b y0, Okay, all over square root of a squared plus b squared. Okay, 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little, uh, little clever grouping here. So I'm going to group together everything with x1 and y1. So here I have ax1 plus by1 plus I'm going to group together everything with the knots. So negative ax0 minus by0. Okay. And this is where now I'm going to remind you that this point x0, y0 is a point on the line ax plus by plus c equals 0. So here, if it's a point on that line, that means that ax0 plus by0 uh, plus c is going to be equal to 0. That is, this point x0, y0 satisfies the equation of the line. But looky here, if we now isolate c, we see that the c value would just be equal to negative ax0 minus by0. And so I can replace this whole expression by c. I can't do that here because x1, y1 is not on the line, but x0, y0 is. So I can now simplify even further and replace all this by c. And what we have here is a nice equation okay, for the uh, distance between a point and the line. All we have to do is input our point into the equation of the line, take the absolute value, and divide by the magnitude of the normal vector, which is in itself given in the equation of the line. So if we take that example that we did earlier, and our point was, uh, let me just take a look, our point was negative 4, 7. Okay, and our line was 2x minus 3y plus 6 equals 0. And in order to find the distance between this point and this line, I didn't now do not have to go through all that uh, rigmarole of finding the vector that joins the point. Uh, to a point on the line and using the projection, I can now just input into this formula. Okay, let's make sure we get the same answer. So here we have ax1, so 2 times negative 4, minus 3 times y1, which is 7, okay, plus 6, divided by the magnitude of our um, normal vector, which will just be 2 squared plus negative 3 squared, so 4 plus uh, 9. And so let's calculate the numerator here. So we have uh, negative 8 uh, minus 21 plus 6 over root 13. And here, uh, negative 8 minus 21 is negative 29. And negative 29 plus 6 is negative 23. And the absolute value of negative 23 is just positive 23. And that's exactly what we got last time doing it the long way. Okay? So now, if you have a point... x1, y1 and you're finding the distance to the line ax plus by plus c equals 0, you can just use this formula here. Okay, so as we see, this is a big improvement on what we just saw, which and a very big improvement on what you would have had to do in grade 10 using basic concepts like just slope and distance between two points. Okay, so that is it. So you should put this as a note in your uh, notebook here that the distance between a point and a line is given by this formula here. And that's it.